I'll hang on to it just in case I want to have some fun with it later. Let's see here. Yeah, I think that's about it. I did. I thought I picked up a skill book last episode. I did. But I don't see it here, which is strange. Okay, there it is. There it is. I just overlooked it. Yeah, my research skill isn't high enough, so I'll sell that too. And fortunately, if I get my research skill up high enough, I can come back at any time and buy these back. So, Okay, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Now, we need to go to Hollywood and talk to Gary. Let's track down the cab. Right, let's see how many quests I have from Santa Monica still. <laughs> Quite a few. Hopefully I can continue those in the next part of town. Yeah. Um, there was a license I picked up. California. Doesn't say what part of town. I don't believe. <clears throat> but yeah, I've still got quite a few quests to uh, wrap up from Santa Monica. Let's see if we can go to Hollywood here. Well, talk to him, please. I'd like to talk to the cabbie. You there we go. Right. Yeah, just drive. Um, yeah, and Hollywood's now an option. Okay. And LaCroix told me Gary is going to be hanging out at his jewelry shop, so got to keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> All right, new part of town. If I haven't seen you, neither is Isaac, so that's your next stop. Isaac, Isaac, Isaac. Why does that name sound so familiar? Yeah, where can I find Isaac? Isaac's in the jewelry store at the end of the street. Consider yourself invited. Okay, so Isaac is Gary's last name, I guess? Gary Isaac? Two first names? Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'll head over there. Okay. Let's take a look around here. Yeah, I really like the environments in this game. Very dark and seedy. And the music is incredible as well. That must be the club for this part of town. Oh, porn store. Yeah, I was wondering if they actually put band posters uh, of the bands that made the soundtrack in the game. I don't recognize any of these, but... Uh, hello. Maybe they worked on the soundtrack for the game, I don't know. The Sin Bin, and you can actually go in there. Huh. Vesuvius. This almost looks like a mausoleum. Like a gigantic mausoleum. Hmm. Full bar, no cover after eight. So that other place I saw... So are there two clubs in town? Huh. Maybe so. Hard luck pawn. Jewelry, electronics, camera, tools. Is this the jewelry shop? 
Yeah, I didn't say it was a pawn shop. Huh. I don't even see the entrance to it. Unless this is it right here. Huh. Can't go in there. The guy probably told me where it was and I just wasn't paying attention. Live music. Huh. Yep. Yeah. Two clubs in town. What is this? Metalhead Industries. Okay. Okay. Maybe it's closer to where the cab dropped me off. Internet cafe and gaming center. Hey, I can do some gaming later. Gaming in my game. Might overdose on gaming. Lucky star. That's actually part of a quest from earlier. From Santa Monica. Yeah, it's part of the Mud Hunt quest. Found a key to Lucky Star Motel. I can't even really remember what that quest was about. I think it was related to a bounty hunter. <laughs> but, uh, I'll do that later and refresh my memory. Cavaletti Cafe. Huh. What is this? Chinese Museum? Or is this Chinatown? The entrance to Chinatown? I don't know. There is a Chinatown in the game. Abrams, there he is. Oh, I, I was getting names, uh the people mixed up. Gary's actually the Nosferatu that LaCroix thinks stole the sarcophagus. Well, I would go in and talk to him if the door was open. Huh. Oh no, I really should listen to that guy. He probably told me where he was. <laughs> he may not be in his shop. Of course, maybe there's a back door. Okay, here we go. Hopefully this is it. Load him up. Here we go. Mr. Abrams, is that you? Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm looking for the Nosferatu. So, you've come to barter information with the sewer rats. LaCroix must really be desperate to be stooped to consorting with their kind, and asking for my help, of all peoples. <laughs> yeah, this guy's part of the Anarchs, so I'm, I'm sure LaCroix is loath to ask for his assistance in this. Let's see here. Yeah, any ideas where I can find them? Besides the sewers? Something more specific, perhaps? Perhaps. However, before we discuss how I might help you, there is the matter of tribute. Oh, okay. I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Got it. <laughs> I don't like where this conversation's headed. 
Call me old fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I see, so what do you want? What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, you want me to go pick that up? Okay. Easy enough. Go to the Ground Zero Internet Cafe. Look for a directory named Joseph K and use the password Kafka. There'll be an email in there that will specify a nearby location. Meet the contact, pick up the item, come back. Not too painful, right? Yeah, I'll do it, but I have some questions later. Excellent. In the meantime, consider yourself a welcome guest in my barony. Welcome to Hollywood. Thanks, appreciate that. Alright, let's go to the, the Internet Cafe. Gonna get the gaming within gaming sooner than I thought. Yeah, I saw somebody shoot across the screen there. I'm starting to think that's just a bug in the game. <laughs> it was a woman this time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm wondering if this chick is completely insane, or if this is somebody from my past life, perhaps. That would be really interesting if they did that, you know, before you became a vampire. This is one of your friends from that time. That would be fascinating. But, uh, it gives you the option to act like you don't know her. So I don't think that's what they're going for, you know. But uh, yeah, who are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you? Did you suffer an invasion? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. Okay, maybe it is what they're going for, or maybe she is crazy. Who knows? Maybe when you're bit and uh, you change into a vampire, you lose your memories, you lose your past. I don't know how it works in the White Wolf uh, lore. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, they can't know. <laughs> There's no way they can know about me. Not anymore. Yeah, don't worry about me, Samantha. I'm fine. I'm gonna make a call. Ooh, I'm gonna have to take her out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to murder you. Masquerade redemption. Too bad I don't need it. <laughs> you can't know about me. Let's let's talk about this. No, it's not. Did it, uh... Dead X. Is this... No, 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 no. This is part of the... Sarcophagus quest. Hmm. Yeah, um... What happens if you let her tell people? 